I've had a business for over 20 years, starting in Seattle, then moving to Port Townsend, designing and making one-of-a-kind clothing. And my first trip to Paris was in 2003. I'd wanted to go my whole life. I finally went, totally fell in love with Paris, Parisians, French clothing, and especially French lingerie. And I started bringing back pieces of it, and everyone loved the lingerie. And that started a whole new chapter of our lives. When this shop became available, my idea was, let's put the lingerie and the aromatherapy here. <laughs> After about a month after we opened, we had our first dedicated trip to Paris where we, we went and bought you know, as much lingerie as we could fit in our suitcases, <laughs> and um, it was a huge hit. We carry panties in all sizes, all different styles, and we have you know, corsets, teddies. We also carry vintage nightgowns. And one of the great things about the French lingerie is that they make pretty bras over a C cup. They balance beauty with comfort and support. And that's why our product is just, you know, people snatch them up as soon as we, we come back from Paris. Here at Slather, everything is either hand-picked, handmade, or hand-embellished. Hi, Sophie. Hey, Kelly. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Good, Good to see you. Yeah, you too. We're a small enough store, and that makes it so personal when people come in. And I remember, even if someone came in five months ago, what they bought and what sizes they are, what they like, you know, so it, it just makes the experience better for both of us. Beautiful. My husband would like that, too. Oh, I bet he would. <laughs> the reason that Sophie is so very good at what she does is she literally grew up under my cutting you know, my cutting room table, she's heard me interact with customers for 20 years. And people come in here because they really like her and they want to support our business. Oh, you know, that's perfect, yeah. It's like the yeah. I tell people, being sexy, it's not a look, it's an attitude. If you know you have beautiful underwear underneath, even if you just know that, honestly, people will walk differently, they'll feel differently about themselves. It's one of the first ones I made because you were so inspirational. Thank you. And I know you like vanilla, and you know I it has do. that little note of vanilla. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Perfumery is really the perfect blend between science and art because you have to have the nose to come up with a pleasing scent, but you have to know enough about the chemistry of the oils to have, to have them blend properly. It really mixes with your own body chemistry and enhances your own natural scent. The Sophie perfume I made with my daughter in mind, using a lot of the elements of her personality, both complex and sparkling, and uh, using essential oils that, that evoke that. And that was her little 20th birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much common sense using completely natural products on you know, the biggest organ in our bodies, it's, it's our skin. So it's really nice to, to treat it well. All the soap is from natural and organic, when possible, ingredients. Things like shea butter, mango butter, um, essential oils added, so it's really good for the skin. And even people who generally say, oh, I don't want to use soap because it leaves an oily film, it really is exceptionally well made for that. Milk, goat, and honey. Mmm, that tastes pretty good. I love coming in here, the textures, the smells, the colors, it's just one of my favorite stores. I just, it's fabulous. I love it here. I feel like I'm really invested in this town um, just by, first of all, you know, opening up a business with my mom. And no matter where I'll go, I feel like I'll always come back here. Like, this is my, my hometown. Thank you. Put on some lingerie, a little bit of perfume, and honestly, it makes people feel good from the inside out. Slather, we've got you covered. <laughs>